All right, Shalom. First off, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakak I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay? Title of this lesson is Add on to your faith patience. Okay? Which the word patience means long suffering. Okay? Um, let me get the definition for the word patience. The capacity to accept or tolerate delay, trouble, or suffering without getting angry or upset. Okay? Uh, it also says understanding. Okay? Self-restraint, calmness. Okay? Endurance. Tenacity. Okay, staying power, determination, okay, application. And w when you go through those hard times, what you need to be doing? Applying the scriptures, okay? Tenacity is the quality or fact of being able to grip something firmly. Grip, okay? So, um, one of the things that uh, <laughs> comes to... Uh, to, to, to mine is, you know, the tribe of uh, Naphtali, which is uh, my, my wrestling, okay? And then wrestling, you have um, uh, grips, okay? So the um, tribe of uh, Naphtali, okay, they're going to be able to grip this, this, this truth firmly, okay? So um, I'm talking about the elect of uh the tribe of naphtali okay so um i'm gonna get the scripture uh second peter one and um it says one and five and beside this given all diligence add to your faith virtue and to virtue knowledge and to knowledge temperance and to temperance Patience, okay. So patience is is something that you're supposed to be able to you're supposed to add to your faith, okay. Now, I'm beginning to the word patience, and you know how how you're supposed to add it to your faith. Now, Romans eight and twenty four, for we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man sees, why does he yet hope for? Okay? So, the thing is that when you when you go into these scriptures and you apply it to real life, okay? Yahweh Shah, okay? We don't see Yahweh or Yahweh Shah, okay? And as far as the, the salvation that is... um. Is coming okay we don't know whether or not we we are the men of the Lord or not okay that's something that we hope for okay so it says but if we hope for that we see not then do, do we with patience wait for it okay so we know that the Lord is gonna come every day that that passes by you gotta you gotta look at it like that's another day closer to Yahweh's side coming. Okay. And we're on the Lord's time, not on the Lord isn't on our time. Okay. So being as though that you know we don't see the Lord coming, okay, we don't know. We know that he's coming around the corner because it says that he's coming quickly, okay. And that America is going to be destroyed in, in, in one hour. Okay? But the last thing you want to be doing is when the Lord comes is to be, be caught sleeping or doing the things that are of the world. Okay? So, we have to wait patiently for the Lord to come. Let me get this. Romans um, 5 and 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with Yahweh 
through our Lord Yahweh Shah, by whom also we have access by faith on into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Because when the Lord comes, the the promises, okay, that, that he has was, you know, the word promise, okay, I always go into it and I say that the word promise basically means guarantee, okay? And if you have faith, then you got to understand that the Lord is, um, the Lord is not a liar, okay? The scripture says that he can't lie, okay? It says a declaration that something will or will not be done, okay? So, so the fact is that the Lord is going to do what he said that he's going to do, okay? That's, that's a promise, which it means guarantee, okay? So, um, wanted to, to get the synonyms for promise, okay? Just, you know, to, to be uh, clear, okay? It says, uh, assurance, something that you can be assured of, a pledge, a vow, a guarantee, okay? An oath, okay? And this goes into the covenant, okay, of that that the Lord um has because he has a contract with the um the Israelites, okay? It's not because the Israelites are the, you know, are are um you know better than everybody, which you know the Lord made made the Israelites better, okay? But it's not based off of our own righteousness, it's because of the Lord having that mercy, okay? It says, and not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation works patience. Okay? So when you're going through hell, which the scripture says that, the the it says confirming the souls of the disciples. Okay? Acts 14 and 22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. And that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of Yah by Shemiah Shah. So, if you're a man of the Lord, okay, and you want to come into this faith, you got to know that you're going to catch hell, okay? And, and, and you're going to have to go through a lot of hell before you get to that, the, the kingdom of Yah by Shemiah Shah, okay? You can't come into this, this truth and think, Oh, I, you know, I'm catching too much hell. Because guess what? The scripture says that the Lord the Lord will not suffer you more than what, than what you are able to go through, man. Okay? Well, it will make a, a way, 1 Corinthians 10 and 13, there has no temptation taking you, but such is common to man. So the things that you go through in this truth, people in the world go through. It says, but Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is faithful and who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. So, so in this truth, whatever you go through, okay, if you are a person that has to, you know, put their life on the line for you, how about some y'all side? Then guess what? The Lord is going to put the spirit on you to be able to handle that, man. Okay? Whatever, whatever um, tribulation that you have set for you, Personally, whatever cup that you have to, to, to drink, then that's what, what you're going to have to go through, okay? In order to, 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 to have that, that faith, okay? Because that faith, okay, once again, that, 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 that tribulation, it works your paces because we know that when we catch that hell, hey, your house size right around the corner. That's, that's what always should be going through your mind, okay? Your house side, your house side, your house side, man. You know, what did Yahweh Shah do? You know, what did the men of the Lord do? It says, and patience, experience. And the, and the things that you're going through right now, okay, when we come to the time of Jacob's trouble, okay, you're going to be able to coast through that stuff, man. Like the, 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 the men that did it before us, man. Okay, now the scripture, scripture says that it's going to be a time such as no man have known before, okay. 
that's just a part of the the the, the um program, man. You know, no matter what we gotta go through, we're gonna have to we gonna have to get through it. Okay? What you gonna give up? Okay. So so whatever you going through right now, it's not it's nothing uh comparable to what, what's gonna happen during the time of Jacob's trouble, man. It says an experience hope. Okay? And like once again, hope that is seen is not hope. If you can see it, okay, if somebody says, Yeah, I'ma do it, okay, but you don't know whether or not they're gonna do it. You 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 wait for it. Now if you see that they say that they're gonna do it, but then yet, you know, they ball sitting around. See, that's not being patient, man. The thing is, right, the Lord said he's going to do stuff. He's going to do this. Okay, he's going to, he's going to save the, the elect. You, you, can, you can see that the, the, the state that we're in right now. That's, that's a, he already did stuff. <laughs> the Lord already did stuff. So, so when the Lord says he's going to do something, it's not like the Yahweh by Shemuel Shah is is known to be a bullshitter, because once again, is he's not slack concerning concerning his promise, man. Okay. So um, continuing on, Galatians five and twenty two, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, which that's patience, gentleness, goodness, faith. Meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. And I could go in on all these different words, okay? But I'm going to just keep going, okay? It says, and they that are Yahweh's size have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. So if you want to say that you're a spiritual person, then act like a spiritual person, man. Okay. If you wanna if you wanna be a part of the Lord's glory, okay, then you're gonna have to you're gonna have to, to um to wait for it, man. Okay? And not try to get your own glory right now. And that that a, a lot of that glory goes on to, to, to even having having uh patience with brothers, man. Okay? Cause that's that's something that's that's important that that you have to, to to apply to your uh spirit man okay now you do know that some brothers do have a spirit of um of of being um you know bullshit artists okay that's just the way how some some brothers are you know but the scriptures also take say you know let every every man be fully persuaded in his own mind you know so it may it may take time. You might you might have just came into this thing like you know heads on, but then you gotta you gotta also know that different brothers go through different situations, man. You know, when it comes down to drinking, right? You may be a a, a, a person who may be able to just sip the whole bottle, man. Take the whole cup, man, and 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 not even feel anything, man. You probably need. A couple couple shots to, to, to get you right. But guess what? Another another person may be uh may be only able to, to, to take a, a, a sip or two, okay, before they end up getting drunk. Okay? And that that, that brings to mind that um Kendrick Lamar song, you know, why you over why you babysitting two or three shots? I'm gonna show you how to turn it up or not. You know, see, just because you able to, to tolerate certain things don't mean another person is able to tolerate those things, man. Okay, so we supposed to be able to show other people how if you if you have if you're strong in in a certain area, okay, be an example, man. Okay, don't don't uh, ridicule another brother. Be patient onto that brother, man. Okay. Let us not be desirous of vainglory, provoking one another, okay? 
envying one another. Psalms 27 and 14. Wait on the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Shah, be of good courage, because we know that these things are going to happen, man. And he shall strengthen your heart, but your heart is your mind. Wait, I say on the Lord. Be patient, man. Trust, trust in him. Okay? That trust goes a long way. Okay? Because guess what? If a man is a... If, if that brother who, who... And I'm going back to that brother thing. If that brother that you may or may not be patient to... Okay? If he's a man of the Lord, he's going to get it, man. Regardless of whatever, man. Okay? Ain't nothing that we can do, okay, to, 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 to get him out the truth. If the Lord is going to have mercy on him, he's going to have mercy on him, okay? We just need to, to, to have a mindset that we got to do what we got to do and teach this word, okay? Lamentations 3 and 25, the Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeks him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. Continuing on. Psalms 37 and 7. Rest in the Lord. And wait patiently for him. And, and the Lord. This is our rest man. The, the Yahweh Shem Yahshah. Not this world. Okay. Yeah we want this world to be over. Well, we want this world to be destroyed man. But it's up to the Lord. To, to determine when that time. Is going to happen. Okay. Fret not yourself because of him that prospereth in his way. We know that Esau is prospering right now. Hey, two-thirds of, of, of our people are prospering. It says, because of the man who brings wicked devices to pass. And the thing is, I'm going to keep going. It says, cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not yourself in any wise to do evil. For evil doers shall be cut off. And that's that's what I was about to say. That this is a part of our hope, man. That these wicked motherfuckers are going to get put to death, man. Okay? Whether it's two-thirds of our people, Esau, or, or, or any heathen, man. Okay? And that that's sign enough when you catch that tribulation that, that the Lord is going to um, destroy these people. It says, but those who wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. Okay? And and inheritance is when the person who, who, who has it or has something ends up passing away. Okay? And, and it's given unto the next to come. Luke 21 and 19. In your patience possess your souls, ye your souls, okay, because the time of Jacob's trouble was about to come, man, okay, and the scriptures talk about how um, the Psalms 125 and 3, for the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, okay, so when Esau starts um, putting hell on our people, okay, that hell ain't going to be for long towards the, the Lord's elect, man, okay? Yeah, we're going to catch hell. We're going we're gonna to catch a lot of hell, man, okay? It says, lest the righteous put forth their hands onto iniquity, okay? So if you go through a famine, right? What's that famine is gonna happen, okay? And let's say you don't you don't eat for four or five days. You don't go out there and go do some some unrighteous stuff, okay? Like like a man of the Lord who who, who doesn't have faith. And I'm just using these things in, as examples, okay? The scripture says we know in part. That's why we prophesy in part, okay? But but if you 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 going on a a, a four-day time period where you didn't eat for a certain amount of time, okay? The last thing you want to do 
is go out there and go go commit some 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 abominable acts, man. Okay. So this the hell that that's about to come is not going to be for that long. Okay. So so the righteous, the men of the Lord, they're not going to go go out there and go. You know, oh, the Lord ain't going to come. You know, Esau giving us hell. So let's go out here and go do some unrighteous stuff, man. Some some iniquity. Okay. That ain't gonna happen to to the men of the Lord. They gonna they gonna be patiently waiting. Okay. Hebrews twelve and one. Wherefore, seeing we also have our compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Okay. And the fact is, once you start running on this 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 track. You don't you don't look back and just give up or fall out the race. You keep going, man. Okay? And know that that hey <laughs> whether I gotta run twelve laps, that's what that's what the heck I gotta do, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna get it out. I'm gonna get it over with. Okay. Looking on to your Howard side, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Despising the same, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah. Yahweh Shah knew that he was going to be sitting at the right hand, okay, <laughs> of Yahweh when he was down here on on this earth. But guess what? He still patiently suffered through everything that that was going on, man. Okay, so when we go through stuff, like I said, we supposed to be looking at like Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah. Because he went through these things also. It says, For consider him that endured such contradiction of sin sinners against himself, lest you be wearied and faint in your minds. And you just go back into the world. Okay? Um, I'm going to get this and I'm going to end the lesson. Ecclesiastes 7 and 8. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patient in spirit in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. So the thing is that this truth, okay, yeah, we're in the truth, okay. But who who the hell are we, man? Okay. Not too long ago, <laughs> you were some regular Joe Smo, okay, that that nobody knew, okay, and nobody still knows. Okay, that was was you know wasn't in this truth, and, and and guess what? You come into this truth and you make it seem like the Lord on your time. Nah, you should be happy that the Lord have, 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 is having mercy on you. Okay, if 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 you go out to camp and let's say the 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 apostles is right there, okay, and you can't speak. Okay, or, or or you know, other brothers right there may not be able to um, you may not be able to get a word. And I'm just using camp as an example. Okay, first off, it's not it's not your your truth to be speaking. Like you know, like like oh, I gotta speak. You gotta wait patiently, man, because your time to speak will will come, man. Okay. Oh, this brother keep on speaking all the time, you know? Be patient, man. Long suffering. That might be a tribulation that you may have to go through. Okay? And that, and guess what? That's a small tribulation because when we're in the kingdom, it ain't gonna be none of that uh uh, you know, I ain't never get to speak at camp, you know. See that that proud spirit will get you up out of this truth, man. Okay? So we have to we have to be patient, man. Okay? And and suffer whatever is thrown towards us. And just remember, man, we're we're nobodies, man. Okay? The fact that we even are, are, are woke in this truth is a blessing, man. Okay? So so hand looking at this truth like it's a roller coaster, okay? Whatever whatever comes our way, we need to just be happy, okay, that we able to 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 to, to be able to suffer 
for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah's sake. Okay? And then when we're in the kingdom, it'd be so beautiful, man, because, you know, that's when all that patience then, then paid off, you know? And and that those blessings will be bestowed upon you from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah because you actually trusted in Him. Okay? So with that, I want to say Salawam.